we have imagined this moment so many times. There were times that we knew we would get here and other times when we were filled with doubt. And yet, here we are. Baruch HaTov V'Hamitiv. Blessed is God who is good and who bestows good upon us. Earning accreditation is a tremendous achievement for our school. It means that after a thorough evaluation, ATS decided that we were worthy of receiving the maximum number of years of initial accreditation. Seven years, a great biblical number. We are accredited by the Association of Theological Schools. This is an organization that accredits seminaries and theological and divinity schools. Its members are a diverse group, large and small schools, many denominations, small seminaries and large divinity schools, such as Harvard Divinity School, Yale Divinity School, and Princeton Theological Seminary. We are the only Jewish school accredited by ATS and feel so blessed to be engaged in the interfaith conversation and engagement that being a part of this organization affords us. What is the value of being accredited? There are a number of elements that are now open to us that were not open before. Our students will soon be eligible for Title IV federal loans. That is incredibly important to our students and to our community. There are other opportunities that are only open to accredited institutions. And then there is just the understanding that when you are accredited, everyone, not only those who know you well, realize that you live up to important standards. During the process, I attended a workshop hosted by ATS. And at one point they talked about their mission. And they said that while their mission can be read in an elaborate and well-crafted mission statement, really what they do is to make schools into better schools. They help schools to reach their potential. And that has been our experience with ATS. They have helped us to look at ourselves and to learn and to grow. So what have we learned? We learned that we are a school that is intensely devoted to pluralism in all of its forms. While there are many that speak about pluralism, we are a school that lives pluralism every single day. We are a school that is devoted to our students and whose staff, faculty, and board work tirelessly to provide for our rich and diverse student body. We are a school that is devoted to excellence. We expect it of ourselves, of our students, and of all aspects of our community. That is not to say that we need to be perfect, but rather it means that we always strive for excellence. We are a school that is devoted to derech eretz, ethical behavior. We bring derech eretz and ethics into everything we do, from the way we engage in administration, to the way we teach, and to the way we govern. We have learned that there is beauty in the details of running a school as every detail plays out in real interactions among people, interactions that need to be conscious and conducted with care. And ultimately, we learned that we are a truly great institution, one that has grown and developed and thrived, if we may say so ourselves. I stand here today with such pride in our school, our students, our alumni, our board of trustees, our faculty, administration, and staff. We have every reason to be immensely proud of our achievement, but I also recognize fully that the way we really will know if we are a great institution is in what we do next. There's a beautiful rabbinic text about a man who went to his father, a renowned sage, and asked him to commend him to his colleagues. Surprisingly, the father refused. When the son asked what wrong his father had found in him, the father replied that he did not find fault in his son, but that he still would not recommend him because the recommendation was not what the son needed. The father stated that 
Maasecha yikarevucha, umaasecha yirachakucha. Your own deeds will cause you to be embraced with admiration, and your own deeds will cause you to be dismissed out of hand. Hechshurs and accreditations are wonderful, but ultimately we are judged by our own deeds. We are thrilled to have earned APS accreditation. I can't begin to tell you how thrilled we are, but what makes us truly deserving of that accreditation is in what we do next. The world is open to us and there are so many possibilities ahead. So stay tuned. As you can imagine, AJR's path toward accreditation was a long and circuitous one. It involved many people, many stops and starts. We are grateful to everyone who had a hand in making this happen. Special thanks are due to Rabbi Jeff Hoffman, who has been spearheading this process for so long, and to Rabbi Matthew Goldstone, who took on a major role in the past few years. Their hard work, diligence, and care made it possible for us to be having this celebration today. The AJR administration and staff each contributed to this achievement, each giving of themselves at every stage. Our board of trustees enthusiastically supported our work and our faculty, alumni, and students are always there to be our partners and our most important ambassadors. We also know that our current work is standing on the shoulders of the many people who have been at AJR over the years. We invite you to watch this slideshow highlighting the many people over the years who have been involved since we first started this process of seeking accreditation. Nice to see all those faces, I must say. It is now my distinct pleasure to introduce Dr. Barbara Much, who will be greeting us on behalf of the Association of Theological Schools. Dr. Much is the Director of Accreditation and Institutional Evaluation at APS. Each school is assigned a liaison. And while I am confident that every APS liaison is qualified and capable, we were truly blessed that Dr. Much was assigned to our school. From the very beginning, she has been there as a guiding presence, being clear, supportive, and rigorous. We always felt, and still do, that we had someone who believed in us and who wanted us to help us bring our school to the next level. Barbara, we are very grateful for your guidance, your support, and your true friendship. Thank you very much for joining us here today. It is my joy and my privilege to be with you here today to be able to bring greetings on behalf of the Association of Theological Schools 
and to say that I join you in being thrilled about the accredited status of the Academy for Jewish Religion. Your determination to cherish difference, to have a generous and inclusive posture to those who are different from each person's and each institution's own way of being in the world is not only a witness that has never been needed more than now in our world, but it creates you in the role of teacher to the rest of the Association of Theological Schools for this determination. Through your uh, path towards accredited status, which you, Aura, said that you were never quite sure of, I was sure, I knew that you would be members, not only be members, but to enrich the rest of the ATS membership through the very things that make you distinct and that are distinctive strengths. We are grateful at every step the leadership of the school and all of the faculty and the students and the staff responded so quickly and with such determination and commitment and ethical ways of being to everything that was either mentioned as a suggestion or required in relation to a standard. And for that, I commend the school and its leadership most highly. The students are intelligent and keen and sharp and bright and interesting. The faculty are so strong in their various fields and so dedicated to the students. All of the staff are very diligent and have a, bring a high level of capacity. And the leadership, as I've mentioned before, the administrative leadership and faculty leadership are so strong. The Academy for Jewish Religion is going to be uh, an enriching member, a witness and a teacher to the rest of the Association of Theological Schools. We are collectively grateful, and I am personally grateful and delighted and thrilled to say congratulations on your accredited status as a full member with the maximum number of years for initial accreditation. That was well earned. Maybe the one final thing I will mention is that the accredited visit, which had been worked towards with such diligence by the school and such commitment, had to turn on a dime and became the first of the accredited visits that happened this spring to uh, transform from what was to be an on-site visit to a virtual visit or an online, conducted fully online with a small site visit to be held at a later date. So huge commendation to every member of the team who made the adjustments and you bring such strengths to the Association of Theological Schools. Thank you for your willingness to cast your lot in with ATS, and I deeply and personally look forward to the journey ahead. My congratulations to all who are being ordained as well and who have received their Master of Arts degrees. Thank you for allowing me to be with you. Shalom. I'm Cantalisa Klinger Cantor, Dean of Admissions at AJR. For all the joyous new moments in life, we say a Shehechianu blessing. This moment, our first graduating class as an accredited institution is certainly a moment worthy of this blessing. It is my honor to sing this beautiful prayer. Barakatah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehechiyana Vikimanu Vihigiyanu Lazman Hazei Barakatah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehechian vikimanu vihigianu lazman hadze.
We will now continue our ceremony with a musical interlude. 